Hey everybody, I hope y'all are doing well. I'm going to make a meatloaf. So I'm putting a little season all on it. Next, I'm going to put some pepper on it. And then I'm going to put a little of garlic. Garlic powder. Nothing to make it be spicy. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this onion in. That pepper, oh, it makes me sneeze. Okay, this is almost a whole onion. And I didn't cut it up very fine, so you can see that. So let me cut just a little more of it up. And then, um, next, I'm going to put this bell pepper. This is almost a this is almost a whole not a whole a half a bell pepper, and then I'm gonna put between two to three medium eggs in. I hope y'all are having a good day. Now next, I'm gonna just mix it up. Nothing extra with the seasoning, but what I've used already. We don't eat a lot of spicy food here. So, we're just going to go with the salt, pepper, and uh, garlic powder. So, there's three medium eggs. And I'm not going to have it very salty. But I'm going to do something a little different with it today. I realize that I'm out of bread. So what I'm going to do today, usually you can put uh, bread crumbs in. But since I need to send someone to the store and get some bread, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and make this meatloaf. And but what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some crackers in. I'm going to Crumble these crackers and use this. So sometimes you make out with something, and it usually be okay. So you can see the crackers I'm using here. I'm gonna use these wheat crackers. Just crumble them up in there. So I'm using this in place of bread. So if I had bread here, I would use wheat bread. I like using wheat bread. So it's gonna take a little more mixing for these uh, crackers than it will the bread. So we're gonna see how this is gonna come out. You mix the onions up in good and you mix the bell pepper in good. I think I'll put a little more seasoning in. Not much. I'm going to put a little more season all on it. A little more garlic powder. And I think the pepper, I don't think I need to add any more pepper. So you see, so far, the crackers are being mixed in, so uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and use these crackers. You don't have to use them. I mean, you fix it however you like, but I'm just making out with the crackers. You don't have to use as many as I use. It just all depends.
And then I have the oven on about, I think it's on 350. You can let it cook on 350 or 375. And usually with this amount of meatloaf or ground beef, I should say, you can let it cook between an hour and 20 minutes. At least an hour and 25 minutes. Okay, I'm pretty much finished up with shaking it up. I'm about to put it in the oven, and I'll see y'all after you get done. Okay, I'm almost finished. This, when you have one than more child, one than more child, I mean, they're choicy. So I have two. We'll eat it with ketchup on top and one that don't want ketchup. So this is going to be her part here. I'm going to put some ketchup on this. She's going to have that part there without ketchup. And I'm going to put it back in the oven for a few more minutes and see you in a little bit. Okay, everybody, I'm finished with the meatloaf. This is, uh, like I said, my daughter don't want ketchup on hers. And this is the rest of it. So, let me cut a slice of it and let you look in inside. And I'm going to get four slices out of this. And you can see it's still hot. But this is what happens when you have your children are choicy. Some no ketchup. One no ketchup and the rest probably eat it with ketchup. And so I'm going to get a slice of this with the ketchup. If it wasn't hot, it would cut better. I just want y'all to see. But I don't think she's going to be able to eat all this. But anyway, I'm finished. I'm glad I'm finished. And I hope you all continue to stay safe, trust in God. He's going to bring us through this. And don't forget to subscribe, share, and comment if you like. God bless.